hi this is Bupin the tube welcome to my channel in this video I want to show you how you could assign different keys to your keyboard or even assign a combination of keys to your keyboard so that they would do different tasks according to what you want it's really simple I'm gonna go through this step by step and I also would provide you a downloadable script in the description of this video and if you have any request of the changes you would like to make to your keyboard put them in the comments below and I could help you to achieve that so let's get started first we need to go to this website which also you can find in the description of this video it's called autohotkey.com there you could go and download the auto hotkey program it's a very powerful scripting program and very simple so you click on the download current version for save it double click on the setup file you can click on express installation as you saw the installation complete is so quick so we can close this now right click on your screen wherever and you can now select auto hotkey script give it a name to distinguish that it's yours you can give your name so just to be able to edit this script all we need to do is to right click on it and then click on edit script I've already written a few scripts but I would just show you what does different script mean since the purpose of this video is remapping your keys I will write you a script that will remap my backslash to F10 I don't really use my F10 and on my keyboard I can't use backslash without pressing my alt key and some application I need to be able to use a combination of control and backslash but I can't do that because I have to press alt key as well so I'm gonna show you how you could change your backslash key into F10 so when you press F10 it's as if you have pressed backslash in order to make comments you can put a double colon and then type for example F10 as backslash okay and the code is F10 these two symbols and then you need to put backslash and that's it as simple as this I would like to discuss three other examples this example you, you can create control block J this symbol means control and this is J in this example you press control and J and and then it would write on a notepad or wherever that you can type my first script or you can write anything you want here this is your your you're free to type anything and anything you type would be replicated when you press ctrl J in the second example numpad is the keys where the numbers are to the right hand side of your keyboard like one two three four but on the right hand side in order to call them you need to call them numpad zero or numpad 1 in this example if you hold numpad 0 and then press numpad 1 the windows would send a message says you have pressed numpad 1 while holding down numpad 0 or also you can execute a program in this example it would execute or run notepad program okay I will show you now how you could run all these four in this video so after you wrote the script you're happy with you just close it you say save yes to run it you need to double click on it because I've already start running this once before and then you edited this script if you double click on it it will ask you whether you want to overwrite the previous one in this instant I would say yes so now it will be sitting right in here this is its symbol that means it's running so if you remember I gave a shortcut key for my num 0 and 2 so that a notepad would open so I press num 0 and I press 2 
and you see notepad opened now if I press control and J it writes what we send remember the keyword send then write my first script you're free to type anything and then it also can give message boxes so if you remember we assigned 0 and 1 and you can see it gives us a message you pressed numbed pad 1 while holding numpad 0 so you can create lots of combination with here like 0 1 0 2 1 2 3 4 <laughs> it's unlimited it's a very powerful program and again the purpose I made this video was remapping so I got the keyboard here here it shows as if I got the backslash but if I press this it's a hash it's not a backslash and I don't really have a backslash my only way to get to my backslash was as I explained in my previous video hold the alt key and then press this and it becomes backslash but sometimes I need a key combinations that I need to hold control and press backslash but I can't do that because I have to hold alt as well and then it invalidates that control key so I need to assign backslash to a new key that I don't use in this example after searching a lot on my keyboard I almost use all my keys to be frank but the keys that I don't really use much are my functions keys F1 to F12 obviously F11 and F12 I use and then I thought okay maybe I don't use F10 hence I gave a shortcut key to F10 hence I replaced F10 with backslash so you could still access backslash by using alt and this button but in order to also make that f10 would be backslash I wrote this script so now if I enter enter now you can see if I press f10 on my keyboard it becomes backslash and the last point I want to make is this auto hotkey program has got a very useful help file you can go through this help file some of the example I've shown here is through the help file and you can remap you can create anything you want as you can see here by pressing window on I it can open the Google website and much more things you can do with this its power is unlimited and if you have any questions of how to reprogram it you can ask in the comments below I would be happy to guide you and create another video to show you how to just to do that your specific requirements scroll through the help file you could find a lot of useful things for example you can see here this symbol means control this symbol means alt this symbol means window so one last thing I wanna show without which this video wouldn't be complete is that you need to put this file this script into your startup folder so you need to go click on the start and type in start then you need to go and find a folder called start menu it is located somewhere in, in C drive program data Microsoft Windows start menu then click on programs then click on start up so in order to run this script each time you turn on your computer so they would be near here running you need to put this file into this folder called startup click on continue so it moves it here and when you want to edit it you can edit here and you can back up anywhere else but you should put it back here double click in order to run it and when you restart your computer it will start automatically with Windows obviously you can also have various different script files as you saw earlier if you double click on a script file it would execute that script file and remove the old script file and if you want to undo your remapping of your keys you can just stop running these hotkeys by removing from this folder as well as exiting the program here by clicking here and clicking on exit you could stop these hotkeys from working i hope you find this video very useful if it was useful and it helped you solve your problem please don't forget to subscribe 
and I got lots of other tutorials on my YouTube channel you can go and watch them I also put the script in the description of this video so you can run it